What you see here is Cas13A, one of the more recent discoveries within the CRISPR revolution. This Cas protein has many remarkable and unique aspects which distinguish it from other Cas systems, and it give it promising roles in the molecular biologist's toolbox. These will be discussed later on, but first, what is CRISPR? The CRISPR-Cas system is a form of adaptive immunity in bacteria. CRISPR, which stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats, refers to repetitive DNA sequences that were discovered in bacterial DNA. These repetitive sequences were found to have viral genome snippets, or spacers, between them. It is now known that these spacers are used by Cas, or CRISPR-associated, proteins to specifically target invading viral genomes. The system works as such. A virus, such as a bacteriophage sown, infects the bacterial cell with its genome. Specific Cas proteins are then able to derive a new spacer from the viral genome. Upon a second infection, the spacer is invoked, transcribed as a CRISPR RNA, and complexed with one or more Cas proteins depending on the system in order for specific targeting to occur by base pair homology. Cas proteins are nucleases and are able to cleave viral nucleic acids when activated by complementary base pairing of the CRISPR RNA to a viral genome. This adaptive immunity grants bacteria protection from what otherwise would be, well, let's just say disastrous for the bacterial cell. Since the discovery of CRISPR systems, which was first reported in 1993, there have been tons of CRISPR systems characterized. These fall under two classes and many types. Many of us have already heard of Cas9, the hallmark of CRISPR-associated proteins. The discovery of this protein as a genome editing tool caused an explosion of publicity and publications all which highlight the robust ability of this protein to cause double-stranded breaks in specific sequences of DNA. The story of this protein is old news by this point, but its mechanism is not too far off from that of Cas13As. In bacterial cells, Cas9 is complexed with two RNAs, a CRISPR RNA, which exhibits homology to viral DNA, and a tracer RNA, which helps to form and stabilize the complex. The CRISPR RNA is able to bind to one strand of the target DNA sequence. Cas9 is then able to specifically form a double-stranded break in the targeted DNA using its two nucleus domains, known more colloquially as its molecular scissors. Scientists have devised a way to fuse the tracer and CRISPR RNAs together into a single guide RNA, which can be co-expressed in vivo with Cas9 and genetically engineered to target and cleave specific DNA sequences. Cas13A was first discovered through a bioinformatic experiment. MIT and Harvard researchers designed a computational pipeline to survey bacterial genomes for CRISPR-Cas loci. A series of previously uncharacterized putative CRISPR systems were made aware to them by this survey, including one unique system characterized as Class II Candidate II, or C2C2. Unlike many previously discovered Cas proteins, C2C2 possessed no detectable RubC nuclease domains. Instead, this putative Cas protein contained two higher eukaryotes and prokaryotes nucleotide binding, or HEPN, domains. These domains have been shown to possess RNase activities, so it was postulated that C2C2 may be an RNA-specific Cas protein. Further experiments show that this protein candidate was indeed a functioning CRISPR system that was specific to RNA. Further characterization of the structure and the function of C2C2 led to the conclusion that it was indeed a programmable RNA-guided RNA nuclease, now named Cas13A. Despite their similarities, the mechanism of Cas13A is quite different than Cas9, as shown by this diagram. Cas13A cleaves not double-stranded DNA, but single-stranded RNA, and uses a single CRISPR RNA as its guide. This process begins with the co-expression of Cas13A and what is known as the pre-CRISPR RNA. The pre-CRISPR RNA is able to bind to the CRISPR RNA recognition lobe of Cas13A, where it is cleaved to become the mature CRISPR RNA. Interestingly, this RNase activity of Cas13A is entirely independent from its other RNase activity. This means that Cas13A is equipped to both process its own CRISPR RNA and cleave RNA once it binds its target RNA. Once the mature CRISPR RNA is bound, the Cas13A CRISPR RNA complex is able to bind specifically to a homologous target RNA sequence. Unlike Cas9, where binding of a target double-stranded DNA sequence elicits specific cutting, binding of the target single-stranded RNA to Cas13A allows non-specific promiscuous RNase activity to be exhibited by Cas13A. When the target RNA binds, Cas13A undergoes a significant conformational change that activates its nonspecific RNase abilities. This is the structure of a Cas13A CRISPR RNA binary complex. Once the target RNA is bound, significant conformational changes result in the formation of a catalytic active site. Specifically, the HEPN1 domain moves towards the HEPN2 domain, placing catalytic histidine and arginine residues into contact. Because this catalytic site is exposed and not internal like the catalytic site of Cas9, 
Cas13A is able to cleave free single-stranded RNA in solution and function as a non-specific RNase. One can imagine that the RNase ability of Cas13A could be harnessed as a powerful RNA detection tool. Researchers at MIT and Harvard made this vision a reality by devising the nucleic acid detection system they call Specific High Sensitivity Enzymatic Reporter Unlocking, or Sherlock. This system is able to detect single molecules of DNA or RNA by amplifying them into more DNA through recombinase polymerase amplification and reverse transcription as well in the case of RNA, and further amplifying them using T7 RNA polymerase for in vitro transcription. The amplified RNA molecules can be placed into a mixture with Cas13A, CRISPR RNA specific to the amplified target RNA of interest, and quenched fluorescent reporter RNA. Once Cas13A associates with the CRISPR RNA, it can bind to the amplified target of interest and begin non-specifically cleaving the reporter RNA molecules, which fluoresce to give a detectable signal. This method of nucleic acid detection can be used for atomolar sensitivity detection of viruses such as Zika and Dengue. The materials for such a test could be procured for only 61 cents, making this application of Cas13A an exciting new discovery for medical purposes. There is certainly more to come from this promising new extension of the CRISPR revolution. Thank you.